On this episode, we're making a pair of fiendishly fabulous horns. Let's start off by cutting and shaping some 10 gauge armature wire. Cut two equal lengths of wire. Let your imagination run wild. Your horns can be as long or as short as you want. Now let's shape our wire. For symmetrical horns, just use your first shaped piece of wire as a guide. When making your horns, it's really helpful to use a styrofoam head. Now let's use some tin foil to bulk out the horns. Just wrap your foil around the base of the horn and work your way up. This mannequin head really helps me visualize what my horns are going to look like when they're finished. You may have noticed that my mannequin has no nose. Speaking of noses, how do you say nose in Spanish? No sé. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, back to the tutorial. This time I'm working with Magic Sculpt Epoxy Clay. Let's use some painter's tape to protect the headband from any stains. I should have used a plastic headband instead of a velvet one. Mix equal parts of the hardener and resin. Mix the hardener and resin together until you have no more streaks in your clay. Now let's cover the tin foil in clay. That's going to form our horn. Keep a small container of water close by to help you smooth out the clay. Epoxy clays cure quickly, so I like to work in small sections.
work my way from the bottom up. That way I get a nice taper at the top of my horn. I use the heels of my hands to taper the top of the horn. Now let's set our horns aside, that way they can cure. Now that the clay has cured, I'll add some extra clay to the horns to smooth out any lumpy bumps we might have. I like to use the back of a paintbrush to smooth out my clay. Now we're going to roll out some clay noodles. They're going to form the ridges on our horns. Forming the ridges is easy. Just place your clay noodle on the horn and smooth out the seam with a color shaper. I like to start at the base and work my way up. That way I don't crush the ridges with my hand. We're going to gradually blend the sides of the horn. That way we can remove the seam. Thank you. 
I have to cut out two holes so that the horns can adhere to the band. I could have skipped this step if I had just used a plastic band. Time to stick those horns onto that headband. Let's use this flat round piece of clay to attach the horn to the headband. Don't forget to blend your edges very well and make sure your clay is secured onto the headband. I had to create a way to support my horns while they cured. So I just stacked up some empty containers and placed them under the horns. And now it's time for paint. I'm using an all-in-one paint primer for the horns. And voila, now you have a fabulous pair of horns. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy and safe Halloween. And I'll see you next time on Crafting with Ursa.